These friends of mine will come and go. You know, listen up. There have been a lot of amazing football players who played in this franchise since 1960. There's no player that started more consecutive games. There's no player that's played in more games. It's an inspiration to me, the coaching staff, and I know to you guys. Most consecutive starts in franchise history. When you think about that, could you have envisioned that when you started your career here? No, it'd be hard to, to, to envision that. You know, I, that moment Sunday night, I mean, it's really almost felt like I had to pinch myself. Be able to be mentioned with some of the best football players to ever play for this franchise. And that's something that I, I respect and I'm humbled to be mentioned with them. Now you're two games up in the division. How big was that overtime win for this team? Well, it was really big for us to see after seven weeks that we're six and one. That's a big win, but we, we all know that there's a lot of football still yet to be played. This is unfair to Dak Prescott. The Cowboys are making a mistake. You need to say it's his job for the rest of the year. Your rookie QB, Dak, has shown a ton of maturity this season. What's impressed you most about what he's done? If you just think about it, there's a confidence about him and a maturity that comes that you don't see many rookies have. But I just have so much respect for how he's handled this situation. And more importantly, he's kind of eliminated all the clutter and all the noise and just said, hey, I want to go play quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Talking about that noise, has anybody asked you about Tony Romo lately? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like every day they ask, you know, but I said it, if there's one guy I wouldn't bet against, it's Tony Romo. And, you know, it was good to have him on the field and practicing this week. And I think that shows that's the next step for him. So if he's healthy and he's ready to go, who should be the starting quarterback of this well, team? <laughs> well, that's for, that's for a lot of people higher up than me to make those decisions. And I don't know that anybody knows how this is going to be uh, played out, but I think it's a good problem to have and to see Dak play as well as he is and then know that when Tony's healthy, there's only a few people that are walking on this planet that, that can play at that level. And if Tony were to return as a starter, how do you think the locker room would react? Well, I think however this plays out, I mean, I think our locker room is so strong and there's a respect factor and understand that, you know, sometimes there's tough decisions that are made day in and day out every week in the National Football League. This is a bottom line business. This isn't the first time in this league that there's been quarterback controversy. Our focus needs to be on finding a way to continue to win ball games. Story's just getting written, boys. It's just getting written right now. Come on now. Cowboys on three. One, two, three. Cowboys! Cowboys!